Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's get back to the task at hand. If I can remember what that was. Oh, that's what I was meant to be doing on Eladin, vol the volatile canister, but we're not going back to Eladin just yet. I'm still a bit annoyed with Eladin. But Vold. Little Mouse as well, that's also on Eladin. Permanent data cores. That's on hold. Okay. So the data caches, I think. They were on Eladin as well, weren't they? So with that in mind, we should probably head to Vold. Where's my ship? It's over there. Don't know if I made the right choice with the... Uh, Primus offer of a deal, but it's done now. What can you do? A is go. Thanks, Kalo. Leaving Atmo. All clear. All systems green. Perfect. Nothing there. Alright, you're done. Uh, these. All right, let's check out these. These new systems first, actually. Break up the monotony of getting these side quests done. The light on the side of this cluster is so different. Maybe the scourge is absorbing certain wavelengths. Does it ever give anything back? Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. What are you? Scan. Asteroid, thank you. Oh, we'll take that. Anything else in here? No. Fine. Grill? You called a planet Grill? I'm picking up something. That's a very specific spot. I found something. Oh, a volcano. Maybe that's why it's called Grill. Right, what have you got for us? Nada. Zip. And finally, you. I'm picking up something. Awesome. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Hmm. Better catch it. I think it, yeah, looks like it. Yeah, cat satellite. Would help if I read the things, wouldn't it? All right, you're done. Thank you. 
Hindrax's theories. A real Turian aeronaut. The first to cross the ocean in a balloon. On Paladin? Brave soul. There aren't many soft places to land. <laughs> Anomaly detected. Yeah. Probes launched. Well, we explained how the Turians evolved the way they did. Paladin sounds like a tough place. Remnant fighter appears to have been caught in the scourge. But the scourge takes no prisoners. But nothing there. Nothing there. What about you? Anomaly detected. Oh, thank you. Finally, one of these has something. Yeah, there you are. Probes launched. Anomaly found. The wreckage. And nothing here. Last one. Well, it's not the last one. There's another one at the other end. But we'll go to Vold after this one. This is one of the most remote systems in the cluster. We're on the brink. Exciting, isn't it? Right, nothing to scan here. Oh, all right, makes my life easier. Bleeding Ruby, interesting name. Excellent. What do you have for me? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. I will take it. Beryllium. Not quite platinum, but I'll take it. Cool, this should be the last one. Alright, let's head to Vold then. Uh, Alright, there's another one over here. Yes, there's two more to investigate. Eos. Ah, oh, there we go, Vold. Hello. Vault orbit is steady. Mm. 
Right, you're the one I've got currently. Uh, assault rifle. All right, that'll do. I heard we'll have my team, Jarl and PB. Good. The uh, A team. the nomad it is assignments still need to finish that one that's on hold that's the end game that was we're not doing that one yet now clearing the air hack the cat terminals Right, so we're doing this one. Okay, terminals. Right, bear with me a second. And as with everything else, these terminals that I'm looking for are spread randomly. We all know how I feel about that, so I won't go on. <sighs> Pathfinder. Life support is stable. Right, so I just need to check Ket camps. Here's one over here. That's Ket technology, Ryder. Let's do this! All of them. All right. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Thanks, Sam. All right. No terminal here. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Later. Right, you know what? I'm officially giving up on these. They're just not spawning. Which is annoying. Oops. Oops. You're on hold still. Alright, let's head back to the Nexus. I can't I've lost I've lost patience. They're not spawning anywhere. Oh, 
But again, this could still be one of the ongoing issues with the game that had, still hasn't been fixed. Right. Uh, hello, Callow. Old orbit is steady. Journey to Meridian. Ah, no, it's not this one. It's called uh, the mission that's the point of no return is the way home. Okay, that's fine then. So, again, I've been ignoring this for no real reason. Okay. It's nice to have a guide. Hello, everyone. Let's go see what this I have to say about Meridian. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. It's true. I had to leave some Solarians behind, Director Tan. I'm sorry about that. Noted. Though it is good to see Archer Chero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Ket. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture. But you answer to me. I hope you understand. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. Dick. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. 
There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. Hey, Sarah's awake. Sarah. Scott. Bring it here. Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. Gave me time to let it sink in. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it, and get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. Uh-huh. Then I guess I'll overlook your little embellishment. You told me we found home. I... Yeah, yeah. I know you meant well. But no more lies, okay? I'm a big girl. I can handle it. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. <sighs> Better leave the tallest one for me. <laughs> If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Yay! Ryder, this is Pathfinder hey. Ricks. We have some ideas. You're probably about wondering how things have been Come going. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? <laughs> well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote rider. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them. And their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. Alright. Uh, Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit. Fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? I thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. It was hard to tell with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. All those times I yelled at him growing up. You and me both. This is a better way to remember him. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. 
She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing and failing, but she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide and seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her, then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. You should know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah. Only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. <laughs> At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. All right. Let's go talk to the other Pathfinders. Upstairs. I talk to my family every day. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is up to you. I can handle it, though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not after this. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. Ah, uh, thanks, guys. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern, 
Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. All right. Investigate ghost dawn technology with Tempest to help other pathfinders. All right. And go! So I'm guessing yeah, the other Pathfinders do have their own ver uh, have their own ships. Ryder, could we talk a moment? Sure. Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Solarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that. I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Exactly. And yes, we have another mission. Back to Haval. Well, at least it's Haval and not Kadara. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. That was quick. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. I'll call a meeting immediately. Get out of the crew. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Oh, do I? The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time, but we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order? No, not me. We. We are going to defy them. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the spirit. And the kit? That's where the ghost storm technology comes in. Isn't that right, Hager? Exactly. Our forged signals should divert some cat from you. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The Tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan, team. Hager, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. Right. So, hang on. Journey to Meridian. Right, before we do that, though. Still on hold. Where is it? Oh, no, I can speak to Sam again. Okay, so. Let's check out this one. Uh, where's the way out? Here we go. I don't want to push the Meridian. Maybe bone up on the uniform protocol, Liam. Subsection shirts. Civilian ship. What do they do? Dot by pay? We get paid. Why? You buy it next time we go to Kadara? 
Are you kidding? You should see my tab. I don't want to push Meridian too far in case I trigger the uh, point of no return. So let's finish this episode off by investigating this area on Haval. Or should we stay here first and carry on with Rider Family Secrets? You know what, we're still here, so... Let's do this. I'm going to have to cut out a large portion of this episode anyway, because it's just me getting... trying to spawn those bloody Ket consoles and they just don't show up. Frustrating. Ah, oh, well. Can't always get what we want. I don't like leaving missions unfinished, if I can help it. Habitation deck. Not more more to triumphs after a challenge for her title as Krogan Overlord. Following their exile from the Nexus, Jorgal Strux claimed he was the rightful Krogan leader in Helium. But more to retain her title, defeating Strux in open combat in front of a roaring crowd on Elegant. This is HNS. Fire. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it GN Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now. See ah! There. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Ah, oh, Garrus is old man! Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Dun dun dun! Hey, Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope for your mother.
Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism, although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alec's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find Mom. First, let's... go in here. Check out these logs. Now we know the real reason for the initiative. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. This is Palavin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. Oh, that noise. <laughs> oh, God, that gives me chills, that sound. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. All instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, son. It wasn't God. It was me, Commander Shepard. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arms made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are. 
hold these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Damn. Well, there we go, everyone. The real reason for the Andromeda Initiative has finally been revealed. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be signal later. This will be Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.